Hello everyone, it's Benicia, your community outreach specialist, and today I am here in Brandon with Ashley. She's off to the side. And we are out at the Special Operations Warrior Foundation, and we are going to be talking to the Director of Operations, I believe, just to talk about the importance of this foundation, their role in the community, how we can help and do our parts, and how they're partnered with PSO. So stay tuned, let's see what we can get into, and it's gonna be a good day. Woo -woo! <laughs> This is where all the magic happens. What happens here? <laughs> this is how we communicate mm -hmm. with our donors. Boom. This room. This right is here. the vehicle for it. This room. Then we have uh, Mr. Sonny Gonzalez, our Director of Administration. Hello. Right here. He's a uh, retired uh, Army First Benicio. Sergeant. Thanks Good. To you. Welcome. You've worked here, what now, going on your third well, year? Well, no, year? third year, no. Third year? 20. 20? Yeah. <laughs> third year. Oh my gosh. Time is flying. Yeah, August this year, I'll have 20 years. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. And you did how many years in the military? 22. 22 years in the military, 20 years and here. 20 here, that's it. I'm, I'm almost, I'm <laughs> almost gone from here too. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So uh, retired General, uh, Major General Clay Hutmacher, he just uh, retired out of SOCOM as the uh, J3. Um, came on board as our president in September. Jesus. Yeah, look at all those Whoa, Oh my goodness, He's guys. A, a Cleveland fan? Or... Uh, This is the supported effort. Mm -hmm. Everything we do is because of these people in this room. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that ensure that our uh, kids uh, get through school, get through preschool, get to, you know, talk to the families. It's it's pretty wonderful to hear these uh, these ladies here on a daily basis, you know, talking to kids, talking them off the wall, you know, telling them it's going to be all right, getting their scholarships, you know, taken care of, getting their budgets taken care of. But this is where it truly happened. The whole reason we exist is because of this room, because these ladies in here make sure that our kids get into school, graduate school, get introduced to corporations, get introduced to individuals so they can go become productive members of society. I love it. Hello everyone, I am with Cal, if you hadn't seen him, because I can totally hide his size, who's the Director of Operations for the Special Operations Warrior Foundation. Say hello to our YouTube fam. Hello YouTube. Boom, so tell us what is the Special Ops Warrior Foundation, boom. So the Special Operations Warrior Foundation is mm -hmm. a, one of the greatest foundations we support, America's mm -hmm. men and women that serve mm -hmm. under Special Operations Command. 70,000 service members that yes. support our uh, nation's freedom. And uh, we take care of their children if mm -hmm. uh, anything happens to them, and we support our wounded and their families. How do you take care of them? What exactly is your main focus when it comes to this foundation? Well, unfortunately, it's the education of uh, the children of the fallen. Mm -hmm. So if one of our uh, special operations uh, service members uh, is in a line of duty death, uh, anything from suicide to combat death, 
uh, their surviving children. We'll make sure we take care of them, and we start that with preschool. We start that with tutoring and counseling all the way through the uh, graduation of college. And then I feel, I've heard that even once they graduate, you guys are still involved. You don't just tap out at that point. Yeah, they become family. part of our family. We want to make sure that they're doing well, that they're productive members of society. Uh, we have great counselors on staff that help take care of them, and uh, they become a family member of the Special Operations Warrior Foundation, just like everyone that works here is. I love that. How can the community help? Our followers are always looking, they're, they're giving, they're great, they're absolutely incredible, not just in Pasco, all over guys. How can they help you guys help our kids? That's easy. Man, we can't thank Sheriff Naco and the Pasco oh. County Sheriff's Office enough for what he does and what you all do to support us. Uh, the Shotgun Shootout is just an amazing, Soon. amazing mm -hmm. event that we are part of. And, uh, and uh, we've grown a real good friendship and trust with the uh, Pasco uh, Sheriff's Office. Uh, I think the... I think the patch says it, we fight as one. Mm -hmm. And because we fight as one, we're one team, we survive together. I so like if the that. community wants to get involved, just go to our website. Mm -hmm. And I will know. put that in the link below and right here, guys, like I always do to make sure that you know where to go. So is there anything else that you think the people need to know? Just what want is? to say thank you to everybody out there that mm. supports our men and women in exactly. service. And thank you to everyone that is serving too. But if you haven't liked this video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't commented, leave me a comment. Just say hello to both of us because we want to say hi to you. And if you haven't subscribed by now, I don't know what you're doing, but get to it. And we will see you next time. We're going to take these incredible ladies to lunch now. Yes! Bye. -bye. All right, bye. <laughs>